Advanced Engineering, I'm Alan. Well, this week it's been really hot in the workshop. I've had a problem with everything I've picked up and today's problem is I have to repair the spindle on my rotary brooch. It broke because of the brooch I was using was too long for the spindle and it damaged the bearing and broke off inside. So, in today's video I make a new spindle to replace the old one and at a later date I'll have to get some brooch, some uh, bearings for the, the brooch to get it fully working. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. Just drill a four mil hole through. I have to turn this end down to ten millimeters for a bearing and at the back of it here I have to leave the face at six and a half millimeters from this face at the back. So I've set my digital readout from the back of this face to six and a half millimeters. Uh, that's a small boring ball I have. It's probably one of the best boring bars. I don't know whether it will focus if I get closer. No. See, it's just a little, little rod of high speed steel with a kink on the end, sharpened up. Now I've used that for doing many bores and it's always worked okay. Okay, I've just set my tool to tool centre line. All I'm doing is putting the tool under this piece of steel. Locking the tool post. And I just raise it all up using the screw. Hold on. Until that needle just moves. Just see, I just touched the 
tool on the on the jig and you just saw that just lower it down and you can see when I touch the move it up get it to zero and I know the tools on centre line to zero and this is just made out of dial indicator piece of steel turned and a second piece of steel with a lip on so the dial indicator comes through and is locked in position with this knurled knob when you put it on the top of your slide it moves it round it doesn't matter where it is on the on the dial you're just looking for movement so once the tool comes up and lifts this up the dial indicator will move and you know that this is then level with the tool or at the same height as the tool and that block underneath was machined so that the bottom of this face is on centre line with the chuck so once my tool touches underneath and lifts this I know it's on centre line so what I do now is I've locked that up turn it round and go into the bore so I'll just move the tool up to the face touch the face zero my my axis now I can move into the bore The depth is 22 millimetres and the diameter is 8. Okay, to check the bore, what I'm going to do is use one of these bore gauges. And the way these work is as you tighten the screw up on the end, it pulls this in and this diameter opens up. So you put this into the bore. Tighten it up until it just touches the bore. Then you measure with the mic over the ball on the end. That's coming up at around about eight millimeters. This is an 8mm bar. where the brooches go so you've got an 8mm bore here 20mm deep and all I have to do with this now is drill a hole through the side and tap it 4mm 
That's the outer casing for the rotary brooch. There's already a bearing in there, so that'll go in there. The other bearings go in the top. The brooch goes in the. There's a top to go on. Little screw top. And the brooch fits in this end. So once that's all screwed up with the bearings, it's ready to go. If you want to see uh, when I made this originally, there is a video about how it all went together and how I did it. Thank you.